Hi, um, hi, good afternoon, Althea. Um, I'm going to do a walk around of my project. I want to update you um, where I'm at. Uh, so today I pinned up everything on the wall and I'm going to turn this camera around and take you through from the start of the project to where I'm at now and just the comments that they made and um, what the way that I want to move forward, what I'm thinking. Um, I would appreciate that any comments you have, like suggestions of for like the way I've laid it out. Um, of course, I am planning to, to keep like showing the process like a bit better if there's something that I need to put right. And I won't pin them up like with the cello tape like this. Um, I have cardboard and they will be on cardboard and clipped on the cardboard. But for now, it's just everything here. So um, we have, I, I have, I have two weeks. My exam date is on the 1st of November at 2 p.m. So it will be sort of like an exhibition, um, but this is how everything is now. And I'll be taking through you through that. Okay, let's, okay. This is everything. Um, and this is where this is where we start. So these um, are the pre. Yeah, these are all the sketches when it started, and this was a precedent sketch. This is the International Space Station. Uh, the video I watched um, of the girl taking us through what happens inside. So that's the sketch of her. Um, yeah. So. These are, and then I looked at like um, Le Bus Woods, so the Le Bus Woods uh, influence here and over here as well. The charcoal, um, the charcoal was something that came about after looking at Le Bus. And then this is a pastel, just a oil pastel, just an oil pastel crayon, um, then watercolor. So I think after these, I started blending the charcoal and the watercolor. And there's also, yeah, there's also like a pencil, light pencil line. And then there's another charcoal piece. And then these, these two, these three are sketches from sight. These are drawings from sight. Um, some of the things on sight, the trees. Um, like a, a structure from, I think it's a structure from the past, from the cooling towers that's like sitting there. That's, that's the whole thing that's there. But the site is barren um, and there's buses on the site. And this is like a close up on the structure, looking at it from this view. So it's like a blow up of that, right? And then we have... Uh, so the, the trees are like a, a big thing on site. That was just a sketch going through it. And this is my block. That's the turbine hall, the Saibono, the workers museum. And all of that is the space I'm to be working in. Then this was a, um, this is the site. But um, back in the 1930s when the cooling towers were there. So two of the three are sitting on the site and then the third one is positioned just outside of my site boundary and that's how long my site is so that was to explain that and then this is then um still my site but now i was looking at two blocks one block that would be my building and one block that would be the site component um uh, as per the brief and then this is, was the first plan, like site plan, looking at, okay, I have to have Sarah offices, Sansa offices, a space museum, a 20-unit apartment facility, public outdoor visitor center. But looking at it in plan, um, it was now this long, messing thing. And then I stopped looking at it in plan. I then went into this view, which was section i'll say section elevation so um it moved to this now a a taller building instead of something that would be 
long winding um, and I made some process models and this was the from the sketch that I made I kept sketching over cutting into it and this was guided uh, by the 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 shape of the previous cooling towers um, the shape is sort of like that and I cut into it trying to cut into and if you remember I have two that are sitting on my side so um, I think these are actually even interrelating um, but these are just sketches then I went through that and then here following this previous sketch that was this one um, that is like trying to cut into make voids so this is like trying to make a void um, an inviting entrance the, that's that that's just a sketch and then so it's I made that one and then I made this one and then it moved to that and I think I really like the crayon thing that I went over on the cardboard I really like this texture and feel and that strong blue one and then um, okay and then it then I made um, so then I I came to this then this would be the 20 unit apartment building component and then this would be my main building and then I made a section a section model from it and essentially at the top the plan is to have the space museum there and this middle part would be the auditorium so the the double volume it being this big is to accommodate for a number of people in one floor and yeah um then the sketch that I made, um, the models followed the sketch. So maybe I can have the sketch at the start. Um, but with this, this sketch, we talked about circulation now and uh, just want the people to be going up the stairs from the center. And so it would be the Saro and the sensor offices and then the auditorium in the middle and then the space museum at the top. And then moving to this watercolor drawing here, that was a development from that. Um, now I'm looking at each floor and I'm thinking, what am I going to put on the floor? Okay, auditorium. It's not the Sarah offices. It's the space museum. But um, at that time, I think I had thought some of the offices could like maybe like one of the space offices and then the space museum. And then like just pre looking at like plan this is just still ideas um but i had read your email and you mentioned um could you do more watercolors and hence um we have something like that and i in, in my crit we talked about how harsh this uh how are you going to treat the ground level and in the way it's looking right now it's not inviting so then um I moved to site plan and I had shapes like these circular, I'll say angular, let me say angular shapes and I broke into it because I want the people to be able to still move through the site because people use the site as like a shortcut to their areas and then the buildings come and uh, they just fill in the space um, there. Uh, so. And then this is like a ramp to, to a basement. So this is um, then just an, an, a, a roof. Yeah, looking at the top. It's, so it's, it's like this on the ground floor, right? And then it goes and decreases. And that tall part, the, the peak part is, yeah. But uh, this is what was happening. And then this is the ground floor. So I went with Copic markers now just to to bring it to life because um, when it sits as a let me just peel that. Sorry about that. When it sits like that, um, it looks devoid of life. And then I think the Copics really bring it to life. But the plan is to have the site plan and draw it in watercolors or Copics. So it's going to be a hand rendering. So I see these as like prep for that as well. But also, it, I like that it, it shows the textures. So the seating area outside, you can just see the, the timber um, that I'm planning to have there. And then I have the grass. Um, 
like the lawn because I'm like you know like an outdoor public outdoor component that's the entrance and then this is the the ramp to the basement like an office here so that's what the thinking was and then we will come down to um we're now going to come down to the plans the technical plans um this is now the ground floor uh, of that other comp that other building um so you have the manager's office a laundromat which has now moved to first floor um a gym area waiting area reception area here stairs a kiosk like a eating um eating place that people from outside can come and eat here that takes you outside so um you can come in actually from outside or you can come in from inside the building to to eat out there this guy also has like a eatery place um sort of like that but for for here and then we have a reception we have public ablutions um and then there's a ramp to the basement uh the space for an office or storage here or services um and then the, my main circulation is now a ramp and stairs and then let me show you the first plan the first floor i can send you this document um i can send you this document uh the, in, in pdf so first floor from from here we have the gym so the gym has two levels the laundromat then units and the units i would like them to be loft units so at the bottom could be the kitchen the bathroom and the lounge and then the bedrooms would be on to the next floor and then so that was the plan for there and this was a stair to the basement but i see that maybe i should try and move it into into the building somewhere because it actually is taking away from this outdoor component uh this outdoor green air public space that i was creating here then for the basement um the ramp to the basement and i saw that maybe i could fit in like six parking for cars and then the services electrical services um things that run through the building but i still need to make space for refuse as well so it's looking like i will need another basement uh for but they said i shouldn't stress too much about the cars but i think maybe we're going to have two levels of the basement there's a basement for the unit a, a building as well services and parking this one even has less space so um we'll see what's happening i wanted to ask can i just join these basements and it's like one basement floor there's like parking for both buildings i know the services can still this has the services for its own building this has a service but can i join them or do big buildings do you just leave them separated like that that's something i wanted to ask and yes i'm going with the grid line and it's a 6 6 6 meter 6 meter um is that correct or should i make it the 7.5 when i learned about this i think i remember hearing 8.4 and 7.5 but the reason why i use 6000 is because this is uh, close to 60 meters wide so i just it was dividing hence i stayed with the 6 but i can make it the 7.5 should it be um sorry let me just move um and then this is just the from the planning of the sorry about that the planning of what's happening on the ground floor um the main building yeah that's the plan and they were separated the pathway here the here so this is a bubble diagram maybe i'll have to try and put this one just before this one and then i didn't take you to the section the section um on the computer it's not giving what i wanted to so then i went over with the charcoal and it's not good paper for the watercolor but i am trying to to keep that in in place uh, so the the circulation in the middle of the building and then the programs the offices it's basically a lot of offices for the sara and the sansa offices and then this is that component building 
However, I was told that it's looking like it's not part of this. It looks like something that's been placed like adjacent and also it's a bit small. So I am planning to move it and maybe it, it then maybe stays at this height um, so that it's not another tower. Um, but that's another thing I wanted to discuss. And there's some renderings I will send to you. Um, and then here... I looked at Francis Gehry's, um that pavilion he did in London, and I liked the, since Francis Gehry for me is an example of African architect, architecture, African futurism, so I noticed that he's created this flowy, inviting uh, space gathering, and he talk, it talks, the, the project talks about the gatheringness, so these like leading up to, so the walls kind of like, almost invite you into the space. So that's the kind of movement I want to keep for, to take the lesson. And also here, yeah, the roof of the can the canopy roof, there's a water collection thing that it was doing that was really nice. Um, but we spoke in my crit, we spoke about me just having a flat roof um, because I think he said that this collecting a roof, a canopy thing that collects the water and then passes it through the pipes won't work in a very tall building. Uh, that was the comment. This sketch is um, was an idea I had for this second component building. So on the front here, I was thinking like an elevation like this, like just a big door that is like inviting, but... Um, yeah, and then in terms of materiality, that's something else I want to talk to you about. These are computer, these, these I haven't gone over with my hand. I think the essence, it kind of gets lost when I, when I just leave it at this. So I am planning to trace over it, but I think you can see the ramp here. So there's a part with the ramp and this, this middle part is the auditorium. Um, but it doesn't have the defined shape. Like, I don't know how to draw it to give it that defined shape. So I will draw over it. So the plan with the computer is that I will just print them light and, and on watercolor paper and then go over the parts that are um, going to be organic and then draw over them. So it was to give me like a guide, a direction on how things are looking scale-wise instead of me um drawing them by hand and taking so long so the drawing will come into the rendering part um into the rendering stage uh that's an old detail that i have um at i think it's one is to 20 but it's giving me an idea of just how big the final drawings are going to be it's going to be a1 portrait so i'm going to have to use it as a guide to see how i pin everything up um let me so um that's that's all my work i will send you the um, the renders how they're looking just the the guidelines of of what i have and what things are looking like they're not set all be all that it's going to be like this and i am being conscious of um the fact that um it's an afrofuturistic so the principles of archi of african architecture is so the the circle it bring a circle takes from the 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 previous cooling towers it takes from that so i'm trying to to have something that's monumental a landmark hence it being told the skyscraper because it's um it's taking from that but reimagining and building um into the future but it's, it's then we have african architecture i think the struggles i have now um can be resolved if I just then stop with where I stop with the computer and draw over it. So I just need to make sure I see what I have. And then I'm, I need to find someone who can help me build a physical model or maybe go to the hardware store. Um, but I would like to have a, a model, like, like something more defined than like a final model of the building on site at one is to 200, one is to 200 or one is to 100, and then watercolor sections, plans, um, not necessarily, um, 
not necessarily difficult, but just to show the materiality because I think that's that's how I can really go in. I am very, very much happy with this uh, site plan. The the co and this was Copic, um, because Copic works on on tracing paper, and I can use the same technique um, on watercolor paper. So I'm still yet to buy the A2 watercolor paper. Um, so I just need to produce all of them uh, as technical drawings, print them and leave them lightly and then draw over them. But I wanted to show you where I am at with my work. And today I, I had a chance to pin everything up. So it's like a pin up for you to show you. Um, yeah, this is, this is what I have and I'm sending it in video format because... I keep, I won't say procrastination, but it's very hard for me to take each picture of each single thing and be like, this is my work. So uh, I think the best way was to show you as a pinup like this. Please let me know. I think if I just take a step back to this section while I'm talking to you, I think I'm happy with the way this section actually is going. So it's a matter of now looking at it in, in 3D, like in EXO how it's looking and keep uh, making that drawing. But I essentially have 13 days next, the whole week there's no crits next week and tomorrow's the last crit. However, I feel that I spend a lot of time traveling to school and coming back and I've critted consistently out there every time I've been going to crits. I only missed that first crit and then I am okay with missing this one if because i have the momentum today you know to keep working but then tomorrow traversing to school then coming back it's gonna drop and i'll be tired and i might lose another day so instead of doing that rather push and um, i'll send you and communicate with you and use the time i have to just do the most you know because this is an exhibition and i've looked at youtube videos of people doing exhibitions so I think I'll also see if I can keep moving them, give them gaps, and and will I be hanging them? Uh, but I know I'll mount them on cardboard because it's much neater. But then the cardboard on plastic on the wall is not working, so they might have to be flying. I don't know. Um, that as well. Maybe if I'm going to school, it would be a thing of going with test, like maybe three prints to just go and see how I'm gonna hang them up. But the time I have now is to really make sure that this exam prep is is done and executed in a very, very good and strong way. And I showcase my watercolor skills. I showcase that this is me, you know, this is what I've learned in the in the years I've been here at UJ and this is where it, it ends. I'm not saying like I'm gonna stop with school, but I'd like to end this undergraduate era of mine in a very strong way. And I'm here committed to to do the most um thank you so much uh for getting to the end of this video um and i'm, a, I'm going to attach the um, the technical drawings that are yeah those i can attach them and and send them as well um for comments and i think it's time for me to to just sit and make make the the final drawings now um they will I'll start them as sketch as guides and then go with my 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 ruler and my pencil. Um, so um, we'll be on the lookout when you get the chance to get to this video. And if you get to it and I'm already far ahead in my process, it's okay. Um, but it's been it was helpful the two emails you sent. I didn't respond to the last one, but I did read it. And hence we're here. Hence you know um, I'm here. I also went to crit on Wednesday. And the comments on crits were that the the small 20 unit apartment component is not, you know, he said it's not sitting right. And then he also said, I must be careful of the windows I use because windows are not just things you place. So you can make windows that are like horizontal or just one strip, long strip. But um, yeah, I think I also made a mistake with just forcing to have windows because the way I've been going, I noticed I didn't have windows and doors, but I have to be very careful with that. And and looking at African architecture, like Moroccan architecture, they have arch stuff and things like, and it's not just a, a 2.1 door, it's, it's like 3,000. It's, 
it's it, it's a it's not a 900 it's a whole like 2000 door so um even the architecture follows through with the doors and the windows i would want to get to to showing all of that but i also want to not lose the essence of my concept and um i will do my best to then send a follow up tomorrow again but since I see that I am able to communicate with you via this format, I think I will then do that, keep showing you every day. Um, if it's not every day, every second day, um, this is where it's at, this is where it's at. But this is the whole setup. Um, this is my sister's lounge. Like, like the whole lounge area is committed to, to this, to making it come to life and... Yeah, thank you so much um, and have a blessed evening. Thanks, bye.